We need to preface our discussion of note values with a discussion of measure. Previously, we looked at a rhythm that had four basic pulses, which repeated as a group. In music notation, we put these together inside of a measure. A measure is notated with a line, sometimes also called a bar line. Now, not to confuse you, but the measure itself can also be called a bar. So we have measures or bars and the bar lines which divide them. We can define a measure as a section on the staff that comes between two bar lines. You'll also find a few variations on the bar line concept being used in music notation. The double bar line is used to separate two sections of a piece. For example, you would see this between the verse and the chorus. A thin bar line followed by a thicker bar line indicates that you've arrived at the very end of the piece. A thick bar line followed by a thin bar line with two dots tells you that you're at the beginning of a musical section that should be repeated. And the opposite, a thin bar line followed by a thick bar line with two dots, tells you that you're at the end of a section that should be repeated. We'll come back to this concept of measure shortly and learn about time signatures, but first we need to discuss note values. A measure is a section on the staff that comes between two bar lines. A measure is notated with a line called a bar line. The double bar line separates two sections of a piece of music. A thin bar line followed by a thick bar line indicates the ending of the piece. A thick bar line followed by a thinner bar line with two dots indicates the beginning of a musical section that should be repeated. A thin bar line followed by a thick bar line with two dots indicates the end of a musical section that should be repeated.